the March 2nd, uh, 2024 uh, failed eruption in the Schwarzenegger volcanic system showed that there was something happening at the depth. The magma could not flow easily. Something was blocking the way. Probably the semi-solid plastic uh, magma, which has a, probably a little more tensile stress uh, capability than the solid one, was blocking the pathway for the magma to move toward the Sunuka crater series in the middle of the rift valley, which are called the Grindavik Rift Valley. And then uh, this magma was trapped there. Around 2 million cubic meters of magma flew, but uh, it didn't erupt. At the depth of less than one kilometer, it stopped. Uh, so this was a failed uh, eruption attempt. Uh, then it, we have evidence now that is flowing, the magma is flowing along the face of the uh, rift uh, blocks, the range. And we had a 2.8 earthquakes near the Grindavik, showing there was something happening there. And there is a possibility that magma is moving south, southwest. Uh, we had our plans already showing that there is, in the case of a magma eruption in that situation. I suggested that, actually, to build our walls, not just one single wall, several walls that can actually, uh, one after another, uh, like a chevron, protect the southwestern part of the Grindavik. And now we have evidence that the machinery are moved in exactly into that location. And we are building several chevron-like uh, uh, defensive lava walls along that area where there is a potential for eruption. I have a video. First, I suggested how to do this. This was inspired by the Iranian uh, berms built to control the flow of the floods. We had many eruptions since 2021 in the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland. They started in the March with the eruption of the Fagradesvial volcano, followed by the Meridolo and the Little Horto volcano, which erupted in a sequence along the plate boundary in that area. This is a new volcanic system. Then we had the eruption in the Grindavik Sorsengi area. First one, and the second one, which actually invaded the, uh, one of the defensive walls, and the third one just in February, which uh, surrounded the Swartzengi Blue Lagoon um, power, geothermal power plant and the spa, and caused the cutting of the road, bursting of the pipes, and damage to the infrastructure in that area, which caused uh, delays in the delivery of the electricity power and the uh, uh, you know, hot water for maintaining of the uh, structures, including the roads there. The plate boundary in this area is well known. We know that is the plate boundary, the volcanic system, and where it happened, and the cracks, previously existing cracks, fault lines, and the older eruptions, craters of the Fort Sundunka, for example, are well known. We can use this knowledge to actually, for the future, develop a method and uh, mitigation plan to actually stop the damage to the town of the Green Dobik and the assets that we have there, including the uh, geothermal power plant, uh, Blue Lagoon Spa, the road which is connecting the area. As a geologist who have done studies of many areas in the world, including what I have done in Iran, and studying the aerial photographs, this was before the age of the internet, so aerial photographs you could study only on the negatives. I have encountered a lot of uh, structures like this, what you see now in this Google image, that has been built by the Iranians over thousands of years to stop the fluids, in this case water, flood water, uh, and being wasted, gone to the lowlands. They use these uh, berms or walls to store and feed the underground, uh, you know, uh, irrigation channels that they have built there underground for hundreds of kilometers. And this is a method that I suggest that we use also in the uh, area of the Reckoners Peninsula along this Swartzengi volcanic system to actually stop this. There are many studies by the Iranians on this field. This is the 11th century book uh, about the 
uh, hydrology. This is a, a book about the hydrology and how to actually uh, find water, stop water, uh, direct water, measure the distances, measure the heights, mountains, and even some inventions that the person who has written this book has done uh, for his time is very uh, advanced in that sense. We can use the technology that we have now in a better sense to build such a structure. When you look, for example, in this sentinel image, we can align our uh, berms or walls, defensive walls, along the where almost vertical or perpendicular to the uh, tract of the uh, cracks and fault lines. Each one of these will do stop any of these eruptions which happen along its course. And then we can direct them to go around the town of the Green Dubic, those areas that actually can be stopped, directing and trapping the lava in between the uh, two highlands of the Thorbjorn uh, Swartzengi and the one to the lowest uh, east, toward the southeast, lowest part of the uh, right side. And then the central parts of the town, which is damaged, I suggest be kept as an open air museum. It should be abandoned. You cannot do safely things there. It can be a tourist attraction on its own, the first on its own. And uh, the parts that we have abandoning, we can build them around these two areas to the east and the west of the town and use the harbor in the middle as the, you know, fishing, uh, for the fishing industry, for the companies who have there. This is a plan, of course. We have to study the contours. I've tried to do much of, as much as I can by studying these satellite images. This is a suggestion I make to actually save the Grindavik. This is for saving the town.